Eric Weiss was born in Budapest, Kingdom of Hungary, to a Jewish family. His parents were Rabbi Mayor Samuel Weiss and Cecilia Steiner. Houdini was one of seven children. Herman M., who was Houdini's half-brother by Rabbi Weiss's first marriage. Weiss arrived in the United States on July 3, 1878, on the SS Frisia with his mother, who was pregnant, and his four brothers. The family changed their name to the German spelling Weiss, and Eric became Eric. The family lived in Appleton, Wisconsin, where his father served as rabbi of the Zion Reform Jewish Congregation. According to the 1880 census, the family lived on Appleton Street in an area that is now known as Houdini Plaza. On June 6, 1882, Rabbi Weiss became an American citizen. Losing his job at Zion in 1882, Rabbi Weiss and family moved to Milwaukee and fell into dire poverty. In 1887, Rabbi Weiss moved with Eric to New York City, where they lived in a boarding house on East 79th Street. He was joined by the rest of the family once Rabbi Weiss found permanent housing. As a child, Eric Weiss took several jobs. He was also a champion cross-country runner in his youth. When Weiss became a professional magician, he began calling himself Harry Houdini, after the French magician Jean-Eugène Robert Houdin. Houdini began his magic career in 1891, but had little success. He appeared in a tent act with strongman Emile Jarreau. He performed in dime museums and sideshows, and even doubled as the wild man at a circus. Houdini focused initially on traditional card tricks. At one point, he billed himself as the king of cards. Some, but not all, professional magicians would come to regard Houdini as a competent, but not particularly skilled sleight-of-hand artist. He soon began experimenting with escape acts. In the early 1890s, Houdini was performing with his brother, Dash, Theodore, as the Brothers Houdini. The brothers performed at the Chicago World's Fair in 1893 before returning to New York City and working at Huber's Dime Museum for near-starvation wages. In 1894, Houdini met a fellow performer, Wilhelmina Beatrice Bess Rahner. Bess was initially courted by Dash but she and Houdini married, with Bess replacing Dash in the act, which became known as the Houdinis. For the rest of Houdini's performing career, Bess worked as his stage assistant. Houdini's big break came in 1899, when he met manager Martin Beck in St. Paul, Minnesota. Impressed by Houdini's handcuffs act, Beck advised him to concentrate on escape acts and booked him on the Orpheum vaudeville circuit. He was introduced to William Melville and gave a demonstration of escape from handcuffs at Scotland Yard. He succeeded in baffling the police so effectively that he was booked at the Alhambra for six months. His show was an immediate hit, and his salary rose to $300 a week, equivalent to $10,553 in 2022. From 1907 and throughout the 1910s, Houdini performed with great success in the United States, he freed himself from jails, handcuffs, chains, ropes, and straitjackets, often while hanging from a rope inside of street audiences.